What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf in the Raf cave. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Now, this video is going to be on a new enhanced Sofa Baton X1 series remote. Now, I've had this remote for a while. It's a good remote. It's got a few quirks. You work around it. It's pretty damn good. Check out my video here. Unboxing, installation. I talk about it if you want the full, in full depth detail on this remote. Okay. But now this one, the brand new revised version, the X1S. Now this one here is supposed to have better connectivity between the hub and the remote. So less non-communication, right? It's a more in sync situation. Now with the X1, there were some times where I would pick up the remote, press a button, and nothing happened, right? So you had to wait a little bit and on and off kind of thing. And then finally kicked in. But this one's supposed to have a better communication, so that's a good thing, right? So when you pick up the remote, it's also going to light up automatically. Now before, you had to push a button and then it lights up. But now when you lift it up, it's going to turn on, which is really cool. Especially when you're in the dark watching a movie, you pick up your remote, boom, it's going to be illuminated, which is really great. Now also, uh, third enhancement, it's going to have a better uh, font. So it's easier to see with all the different languages. So before, it's a little hard to see the small words. They weren't, they weren't quite fit correctly on the screen. But now this one's going to have a, a fix for that. So that's great. Um, so yeah, it's incredible remote. Eliminate all your remotes. Hundreds of thousands of devices that this can control with the app. So you can download the app, program all your devices in there, set up a bunch of stuff and use the app if you want, or you can pick up the remote and do it here. You do the voice remote, voice commands through Alexa and Google Hub. You can integrate that so you just say what you want and it can automatically uh, work for you. So yeah, so that's really cool. But you can also integrate a whole bunch of other stuff too, which is really great. So I'm going to unbox this, um, see what it looks like. I'm going to turn it on and go from there. So you, so you the, uh, the enhancements. Um, Comfortable remote control, easy to hold, simplistic buttons, and it's all on screen, which is great. Now, Go to the website here. Now you can see their products. You have the X1 and now the X1S, right? So we're going to check out the X1S. And yeah, it's fantastic. So say goodbye to all your other remotes. Future-proof database. So you can always add devices to it, add codes to it. Keeps enhancing, keeps learning, keeps upgrading, which is really great. Works with all kinds of different brands, over 500,000. Really great. Looks good. Feels good. Controls well. It's got IR blasters, two of them, to extend your IR frequency around your cabinets and drawers, which is great. Of course, the voice control is there, flexible API, comfortable, of course, like I mentioned, backlit design, raised to wake, that's important. It's got a beep as well, so you can't find your remote on the app. Press it, and it'll beep remote wherever it is. 45-day battery, which is great, and a lot of satisfied customers like me. So... Let's get it unboxed and check it out right now. All right, guys. So here's the box X1S remote. There's your slight specs on the side there. And you know what time it is, guys. Black pin. All right. X1S owner's manual here. Boom. And here we go. Ready to be programmed and use. Boom. Yep, same exact thing. It's your basic settings, your X1S remote. And on the inside, guys, you're going to have your hub, your two flashers, your AC adapter, and your USB power cord the hub is really cool you put this hub in a central location and it explodes IR frequencies all over the room to hit your devices so I put mine right in front of my den and receiver and it hits all my area really nicely look how clean that is so this is the IR hub so I'm gonna get this plugged in I'm gonna hook up one IR flasher to my TV box and then plug it in and uh, get my app to download all the information onto the remote. 
So I'll be right back, guys. Let me get it all hooked up. See you in a bit. All right, guys, we have this the hub set up here. Very easy to do. Just hook up the, uh, the hub with the power cord and uh, get your app going. You can hook up with Bluetooth and uh, sync up with your internet and you're good to go there. And this will send thousands of IR flashes everywhere in the room as long as your device is in, is in range. If not, then you can connect one of these little flashers here to spread even more IR flashes everywhere where this is. And you can stick this to any surface if you want. I'm just gonna leave it here for now because right here is where the IR, and for some reason it just doesn't quite reach here. So other than that, that's good to go. And it's able to uh, control the TV above it and link up to PlayStation and my TV and um, my Superbox here. And it can hit all of that, which is great. Now, remote controls, right? So we got the X1 here and the X1S here, right? So what are the differences? I'm going to pick this up, the old one, and nothing happens, right? I'm going to pick this one up. Oh, look at that. Turns on. Fantastic. Lights up. Now, with this one, you have to push a button to turn it on, right? Now, look at the display. You see how this one's much smoother looking and cleaner, where this is a little more primitive looking. Now, if we go down to, say, devices and click, boop, and we go down to click here, devices, you can see how much cleaner the text is. It's almost like they added more pixels to the screen. So you're going to be able to fit a lot more devices, um, longer worded devices on this screen, which is nice. And uh, thirdly is the the connection with the remote and the hub is much greater. So I'm having less disconnects or delay um, in controlling my devices, which with the old one had sometimes had a few issues as far as linking up with the hub. There's a little hit and miss sometimes. So that's a plus, huge plus. That's one of the gripes I had before. Um, and the other thing is, is when I... Um, Use the same app, of course, right? The, the Sofa Baton app on your mobile device. It didn't exactly let me use the same um, profile or data that I've already used to program this to just transfer it or copy it onto this. I had to redo everything. So that's one bummer um, about getting a new remote with the same app. But it doesn't take that long. It's pretty easy to do on the app. So I like it a lot. I would highly recommend the X1S version over the X1, um, even though this might be cheaper. I think overall with the um, the better the screen display, the automatic turn on with you just lifting it or moving it, which is nice, and the much better um, synchronization or, or connection to the hub right there is very important. So I give this one a huge thumbs up. I'm definitely going to use this a lot more now. And um, yeah, I don't have any more remotes lying around that I had before. It's just this bad boy right here and the hub. Link in the description below, guys. Definitely check it out. There's a discount as well. So uh, enjoy your Sofa Baton X1S version. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share, and see the next one. Home Theater Rules. Raph out. See ya.